What is up MTV Review? It's your girl Chloe and I am back with another YouTube video. So without further ado, let's hop into it. I don't know if y'all have watched Step It Up High Water, the season in its entirety. I'm not doing no episode. This is the final wrap up, the last review. It just got too good and I just kept watching and I could not stop. Rico and and uh, what's what's her name? Miss Claudette, Miss Jones, whatever, whatever you know her as, Claudette. They didn't got together. But they broke up. When I tell you Claudette should have went to jail for all her heinous crimes, she committed murder. Murder. Dated the dude who she murdered, son, and she dated him. Got pregnant by him. You know what the gag would be? I'm not saying the gag would be in the next season if Sage find out that's actually his baby. That's going to be a real gag right there because Sage your dad and Rico thinking he the dad, but Claudette and um and Rico, they ended up breaking up in the end. You know, I guess Rico started like realizing and figuring out like, yo, you, you I don't want you. Which we knew was gonna happen. I just feel like Claudette was just running from one old thing to something new and different because Sage wasn't really filling her up in those ways, but um, Rico was. That's what that's what some people mean by don't leave your eighty for twenty. Tell your brothers about the eighty twenty rule. The what? The eighty twenty rule. In most cases, in marriage, you're only gonna get eighty percent of what you need. That's it. No more, no less. Most times, eighty percent. Now. Here comes this woman offering 20%. Now, 20% looks real good when you ain't getting it. But the problem is you're going to leave 80 thinking you're getting something better and you end up with 20. Then you get in a situation and you're like, this is not what it, what I thought it was because you was too busy looking at 20% and not 80. And now you're looking stupid. So much done happened. Odily ass is crazy. She is crazy. Like, when I tell you stalker, very much stalker yo odily and angel they had sex or whatever boom she ended up telling what's his name she ended up telling her boyfriend davis uh that she cheated on him or whatever and she was the way she was trying to do it like you know trying to like trying to ease it in there like and you know davis is a little sensitive guy okay and that's not even in no bad way you just know davis he wear his heart on his sleeve so it's like don't be doing that to him. And then she was over here trying to offer him like a threesome or like a three-way or poly relationship or something. And then he tried to, he shut her down. And I'm glad he did that. He like, yo, most dudes would be jumping at this offer, but I'm not most dudes. And I know that's right. I don't care, bro. Ultimately, you done, you wrapped up, you capped up, you boxed up. And she had the nerve to sit up here and cry and run the angel and cry in angel arms. But okay, she was supposed to leave town, but Marquise didn't leave town. He was still actually in town and he had asked Tao for some help. Now y'all remember when Tao and him, they used to have interactions back in the day in high school, you know, he used to beat, beat up on him. And you know, he was kind of like trying to uh, tell him like, why should I help you? I should just rat you out right now and let these dudes come and beat you up and do whatever they want to you. Because he hadn't ran to, he hadn't ran to Tao for some help. So I'm glad Tao got that closure that he needed for giving Marquise and talking to him. Oh, and also Marquise, he blew up. He blew up. He finally got his dream, his wish. And uh, Rico over here trying to steal his stuff from his notebook. And I'm glad Marquise really just blew him up like that. Like they had that little one-on-one -on -one off, I mean, versus each other. And they had kind of mended they stuff together too. At first they was kind of like going against each other when they was rapping at the end. When they was having that little battle when they was at the war show. And they were just talking this. Mm, mm, mm. But then they ended up coming together. But before any of that even happened, like, I felt like it was just green as hell how Rico really gonna steal his notebook and kept, and kept performing his songs, lying to Claudette to try to impress her. And it's just like, if you got a lot of somebody to try to impress them and try to keep up this image, that person isn't for you. Like, you trying to hold up this image of what she wants you to be instead of who you actually are. Just tell her the truth. That's not my song. And then, you were, she had... Rico had um, Claudette over here thinking Sage um, had somebody spying on them 
because he had dropped the song because he had made Marquise perform the song before Rico had put it out. And then she over here like, oh, he done did this or whatever. Boom, she calling uh people, messing up Sage career. It's just like this woman is too tied into Sage. And she had gave Sage fake documents. Bro, why that ain't nothing. So she ended up screwing him over, taking all of it, all of his music, all the rights to high water, all of that. Um, but that's when she got exposed. She overplayed her role. She overstepped. She tried to uh deal a lot of hand bigger than what she could handle. Now I could see if she had did that and like Sage didn't have nothing on her. But the fact she committed murder. And like the lawyer, when his brain started doing all the clicking, listening, like thinking like about all the stuff she was saying when they was in court, when they was trying to like hear her alibi, like she's lying. She's been lying this whole time. So um, Sage and her ended up having a meeting. She's trying to play this like revenge thing. I don't know what is up with her. Like, he just wanted how he wanted the rights to his music or whatever. But she was just like, I want hot water. And then, you know, cause Sage liked hot water. He loved hot water or whatever. And he like, wasn't trying to give in. Boom, he getting a phone call. His lawyer, he uh, talked to him. He like, yo, don't agree to nothing. I know who killed, uh, woo -woo. it was uh, Claudette. And then he like, what? Boom. And then he was like, I know you killed uh, Easter. And her, she got shook. She got shook because she already knew. She already knew what she done did. And then she over here looking like, Say, please don't say that, please. Yeah, you trying to play, you trying to be the big dog and call all these shots. But then when somebody over here call you out for your stuff, like, yo, I know you killed him. Woo -woo. I can turn you in right now. Yeah, give me my stuff back. But he let her have hot water. And it's just like, I did not like that. It's like, I did not like that. Like, bro, you let her have high water? That's your baby. She need to go. And I know Claudette helped build high water. Cause I, I don't even want to take that away from her. Cause she did help build high water. She put a lot of time, blood, sweat, tears. She did a lot of things to keep hot water up and going in a flow. But I really just don't like the way she be going about things. And she ended up merging with Spartaca and hot water. And they ended up like Davis. He now is like a, a multi-selling record artist. Only you lost a good one. Boom, you left what you left. 80 for 20. And she didn't even want you for real. Let's get on them. Angel and Odalie. That mess is a whole mess within itself. So they ended up getting together or whatever. And I guess Odalie is thinking Angel is gonna be something different than what she actually is because the way how Odalie is, Angel isn't like that. So she trying to like, you know, operate around her feelings or whatever. She hurt her feelings. Sometimes she was like distant towards Odalie. Like she just was not feeling Odalie like that for real. And like, she did not want him. I feel like once, cause they had got together. And once she figured out that Marquise was still in town and she started listening to that uh, song, cause did nobody know Marquise was uh, performing this song or whatever. And then she like, that's Marquise. I think that's Marquise. And then, you know, Odalie kind of like, oh, girl, he's not here, he's gone. She don't like hearing about Marquise because that's kind of like her competition in a way. Like she know Angel wants to be with Marquise. So boom, she ended up breaking up with Odalie. Like, I don't even know if they was really together. They was just messing around. I'ma say they was together. Um, And she find out Marquise is in town. Odalie goes crazy. Cause they were supposed to be at some event for like Rico or whatever. Cause he was supposed to perform his song that day. She left the performance, went over there to uh, go see Marquise. Mind you, she didn't know it was Marquise, but she had a feeling it was Marquise. So she went over there to see him. Odalie look on the TV and all she see is her girl dancing with uh, Marquise and she just get mad. So she go home. She goes home, go under Angel's bed, takes her takes her money out of her uh stuff goes on a bridge and pour out her money only needs to go to jail it's just like what is wrong with you what in what on god's green earth will possess you to do something like that honestly like you see a bunch of money and you just decide to go over a bridge and dump it out and then when she confronted her about it she confronted her about it Cause Angel brother was in town and he came to get the money to run up the club, to start up the club. 
And then he like, all right, bro, I got the money or whatever. Ooh. Hey, Overly, where's my money? I haven't seen it. I don't know what you're talking about. Lying. Well, and then here, here she go. This is what she's trying to do. Trying to uh, put stuff in her head. The only person who, only people who's been in this house is me, you, and Marquise. Oh, it, it gotta be Marquise. Angel already like, Marquise would not do that. <laughs> Marquise brother, I mean, Angel brother is not going for that. Like, call him up. Boom. She uh, invite Marquise over. Hey, did you see my money? Did, did you remember my bag or whatever? Did you ever take my money? He like, girl, like, why would you ever accuse me of that? Like, you know I wouldn't do that. Like, I love you. I care about you. Like, that ain't nothing to me. Like, woo. -hoo. All right, I believe you. Her brother come downstairs. Boom, 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 boom. Where the money? Where the money? Where the money? Where's the money, Lebowski? You want that money, Lebowski? Bunny says you're good for it. Where's the fucking money, shithead? Oh, it's... I ain't got no money. And then he's like, I can get you the money, though. I can get you some. If this is what you need, I can get it to you. But I don't got your money. So... Marquise ended up doing a performance uh, with Sage, like for the award show, and he ended up getting the money for Angel. Child, when I tell you, it was just so much happening. Tell me why Marquise got shot. Oh, he was dead. Marquise got shot, and I thought he was dead. Rico over here crying. I think they ended up faking his death so he could, like, just leave. I don't know if they had that set up, planned well, this elaborate scheme. I don't know what. Happened. That last episode is still confusing to me because boom, they left the award show. Rico boys trying to um beat up Marquise or whatever. So they running or whatever, trying to get to the limo. All you see is Angel Brother driving down the street and go, bah, bah, bah. okay, he didn't let up them many shots, but you know, he just started shooting at him. And then it's just like, we thinking Marquise is dead. Rico over here crying over him. The dudes who was trying to beat him up over here like, nah, man, let me, let me go because I ain't about to get booked for this. They done left. We thinking he dead. They rushing him off to the hospital. It was just a lot. Just to find out that he in the UK with Angel. <laughs> okay, they running the club. Him and the brother good. Howard, and this is my thing. If Howard does this, I'm going to be pissed off. They will literally make a good ass season cancel the show and then they want to come back years later and it's just like y'all gotta stop doing that y'all either gonna be on or y'all gonna be off because this this on and off stuff is just not working and i hope they do not cancel it because it's just like i'm gonna be sad y'all poppy i i'm so happy for poppy i'm so happy for poppy she finally got away from uh rico like, rico never deserved poppy like, he was no good for her. He did not like her for real. It's one thing to love somebody. And okay, everybody can claim and call out all day. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love is not just a word. It's an action. And it's just like, he wasn't really acting like he liked Poppy. Only time he seemed like he showed interest in Poppy was when Poppy interest was like falling off or like with somebody else. Then he interested in Poppy. When, like when Poppy moved on. Because it's just like, they'll have you on this hook. I feel like Rico was like a lot of dudes, they have you on this hook. I'll show you was enough attention to keep you around, but not too much. Boom, and that's what he did with her. And then when she when she moved on and found somebody like Dondre, oh, that's when you you jealous. You want me now. Oh, you got feelings. Oh, you know you don't need him. Oh, now you wanna do all this because you you lost me. But then he got her back. Her stupid ass. And I'm really mad at Poppy for doing that. But she ended up finding this good dude in the end. They ended up getting the house together and all this good stuff. And I'm proud of Poppy because she ended up going viral with Marquis song and helping Sage run his stuff. Like Poppy literally made a complete 360 from where she started at the beginning of the season and where she ended at the end of the season. It's like, oh my goodness, Poppy literally is amazing. She got back on the tour with Sage. Poppy did the thing. Um, Tao, I really do not feel like we got to see enough of Tao this season. So only thing I'm gonna really say about Tao is he ended up meeting this dude. Um, and that's really, <laughs> Tao ended up meeting this dude and that's really just about it. I don't know if he gonna like leave hot water and like travel the world or something or go in the UK and like hang out with him or something. 
but I don't really feel like we've seen enough of Tao to really even talk about Tao. But the progression that Sage made from the beginning of this, from the beginning of the se season, Sage was so self-centered, so cocky, so all of this. And I feel like the stuff he went through, like him going to jail, him losing Claudette, um, just like his music and all that, just all the stuff he was going through, I really feel like it humbled him and it made him be become more connected to his community because he got to see a different side. I feel like he was so in his bubble, like, and like when he actually got like popped out of that and into the human world, like reality, the planet we're all living on, I feel like that's when he became more like about the people and like really getting connected with his community. Now I feel like he did this for like two reasons. One, to like boost himself. And two, I really do genuinely think he was trying to get back to the community or whatever. He started listening to Tao and Poppy. Sage don't listen to nobody but Sage. I don't know what the beef was with the uh, prosecutor because she was running for mayor and Sage. Like, why did she want to like take down Sage so bad? Now, I know Sage was campaigning for the other woman against her, but it's like, you doing all of this for no reason. Gonna literally call her, her niece and be like, hey, honey, uh, where you at? Just checking on you. And literally gonna send the cops over there to try to arrest Sage. And it's like, yo, you are doing too much. Oh, back to Odalie. Odalie is literally crazy. Z, I, like even like she just texting Angel over here like uh on some like weird stuff like they still together and she like I want to come and visit you like they're still dating or something like they're still together like she's crazy like let it go let it go like this girl don't want you and she like leave me alone and my thing is why won't you just block her I feel like a lot of people do this like stop complaining about a person messaging messaging you harassing you all of this if you won't block them you can that literally takes a couple clicks block that's it so it's just like angel need to just block her get rid of her i hope she never told her where she lived no address nothing too personal her and um um rico they coked out together rico went downhill his career ain't nothing no more he got all the qualities he just not a good rapper like he literally had claudette thinking king um was like working with sage to like set them up and let him go. When he over here like, yo, you really gonna do this? You gonna pick a girl over me? And you know I and you know I didn't do this. It would it would be one thing if Rico genuinely did not know. But he know, he know King did not do that. King was the only one who knew what uh Rico was doing. Like, yo, just tell her that you were writing in the book. And he was telling him that, like, just tell her that you writing, that you got Marquis's book. I can't, man, I can't. I finally got a good one. Like I can't let her down. I can't let her think of me. And it's just like, yo, ugh, that was just like a mess. And it's just like, he got screwed over yet again. Like, poor King. I'm ready for season four of Power Water to see what's going to happen. I really hope Claudette goes to jail. I hope she ends up having that baby. I hope Rico has to end up taking care of that baby. I hope Odalie, uh crazy ass, get some help. I really ended up liking Angel in the end. Um, I wish her the best. I hope she don't get into no, her and her brother and Marquise don't get into no uh, serious trouble in the UK after that murder they just committed. But Angel don't know nothing about it. Um, Tao, I hope he, we get to see more of Tao in season four. We actually get to like know more about him deeply and not make him feel like a side character. Um, and his boyfriend and all that. Um, Poppy, can't wait to see what else she does because Poppy is blowing up right now, y'all. But that's it. That's it for season three. I'm done. This whole season was a, was a mess. They had me all over the place. My emotions was up here, down here. I was scared. I was worried. I'm over here like, yo, I was disappointed. But overall, this season, I'm really gonna have to rate this season of Hot Water uh, 8.7 out of 10. It was really good. I enjoyed it. If Claudette would've went to jail, it would've been a 10 out of 10. But anyway, maybe next season but i love y'all y'all stay tuned for the next episode it's your girl chloe and i'm out